So you're thinking that you're depressed. Trust me, I've been there. A lot more than you realize. I'm no stranger to wanting to kill myself. I'm no stranger to self-harm. No stranger to feeling a release by the sight of blood, my own blood. I'm no stranger to slitting my wrist with a razor. I'm no stranger to learning how to tie a noose. I spent so much time in and out of mental hospitals that I feel like I need to tell people what I learned. Life isn't easy. And even though I'm not currently depressed, I know that maybe within a couple hours I will be horribly depressed because of some event, an argument maybe could happen. I think when it comes down to it, a big part of being depressed or being anxious or being apathetic is not being able to live in the moment. You see, when I was in the mental hospital, I learned about something called DBT, which is Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. One aspect of DBT is mindfulness. And you, you probably hear a lot of people talking about mindfulness, like, oh, meditation and oh, um, essential oils, stuff like that. Which, yes, that, that is, med that is uh, mindfulness, but it's not all. You can do your deep breathing, you can do your meditation, and still you won't be able to release the you won't you won't be able to release the buildup of apathy and depression that's inside of you, even anxiety that's inside of you. There are many aspects to DBT, but I think mindfulness is one of the more important ones. You see, mindfulness is more than, like I said, deep breathing and essential oils. Mindfulness is being aware and present in the current moment. A big reason why people are depressed or anxious is because they're worried about something that happened in the past or they're worried about something that's happening in the future and they're not able to live in the now. They're not able to live in the present. We develop this because we have a idea of quick fix mentality. We have a quick fix mentality. What does that mean? Well, when people first started to form civilizations, they didn't have phones, they didn't have, you know, computers, iPad, whatever. They didn't have any of that. What they needed, they had to work for. They did not have a quick fix mentality. Us nowadays, especially with children, your parents provide everything for you. Your phone, your computer, everything. Anything you want can be there in the snap of a second. Anything you want, whether that be a... Whether that be food on your plate, or a computer, or a phone, or a new app, or a new, or new, I don't know, a new mu music catalog, or whatever. We get things that we want right away. And we start to experience things, and we start to get used to that. But it's simply just a bad mentality to have. You need to be able to stop, slow down, and work in the now so that you can get to what you want. You're not always going to have what you want in the snap of a finger. It may be like that for the first 18 years of your life, but once you're out of the house, once you're working on your own, you're not gonna get anything in the snap of a finger. I guarantee, I guarantee you will not, unless you're insanely rich. <laughs> unless you're extremely well-to-do, I guarantee life is gonna be a bit tough when you leave your parents, when you have to start providing for your own. Something that we need to shed is this quick fix mentality. A mentality that everything will be done and ready for us the moment we want. Real life isn't like that. And when we finally are able to recognize that we won't get what we want right away, we have to work for it. And in order to work for it, we need to be present in the now, doing what we need to do now, as opposed to worrying about the future or worrying about the past. So, hope that cleared up a couple things. If you're taking away anything from this video, it's slow down. It's okay, you can take a break, you can relax, you can work on you. And then, as you move forward, be able to not, be able to not overvalue the future and undervalue the past. You need to appreciate what you have in the now for you to properly move forward. So, hope you enjoyed. Ahoy ho, alamo porong.